Good morning, my friends. My name is Lama Jigme Gyatso, and this is uh, the fourth, the fourth video of the fourth meditation lesson. So here's the deal. If this is your first time tuning in, your best bet is to notice that below the video, about three inches below the video, there's a button that reads show more. And you give that a click, it'll reveal a list of links as long as my arm. Now you want to find the, go back to the first video of the first lesson and start there. I don't care if you I don't I don't care if you've been meditating for 20 years. In fact, if you have, then you should be very humble. Start at the first video of the first lesson. Now, one of the things we, that all these videos have in common is they are all commentaries of or practices of a set of guided meditations that I've been written down. So to get your free PDF of this, the first set of lesson texts, go to the class materials link and on that page you'll get three free things. A free essay, a free image of Lama and Rizig similar to this, and of course the free PDF for the, or the latest PDF for the first set of lesson texts. Now, if this is your first time, go, go, go watch the appropriate video. But if you've been up to speed, then let's dig in. Please join me on page 130. Previous two lessons, we explored the bowing prayer to Chen Rizig, and I taught you how to do Tibetan-style bowing. Or I, should, or I should actually say Tibetan-inspired bowing. Now we're going to work with the, with the, the verbal gratitude training. As I've mentioned many times, amongst the enthusiasts and every sect of every spiritual path, the majority are fundamentalists, the minority are liberals. So I'm going to present these teachings to you from the liberal paradigm. Now, from the fundamentalist perspective, it's all about guru devotion or lama devotion. And you're supposed to see your teachers being an emanation of Buddha of compassion and being totally perfect and fully enlightened. And you're supposed to be so devoted to him that the mere thought of him brings tears to your eyes. Yeah, that's not the liberal perspective. Let me give you the liberal perspective. There's this teacher, and you don't know if he's authentic or not, but you do know that you'd like to be a happier camper, and maybe even a Buddha someday. So you suspend your judgment and attend just one of his lectures. And during that lecture, you're taught a nine-minute technique. So you practice it once every morning and once every evening for six consecutive days. Because, folks, if you can't do a nine-minute technique for six, you know, just twice a day for six days in a row, then you've got a heap of troubles. <laughs> At the end, after concluding the sixth practice, the second practice on the sixth day, you engage your judgment and notice your results. If you got crap results, go find another teacher. But when you get good results, go back to that teacher and get more teachings because apparently his stuff works. That's it. If his stuff works and you like the results, you're going to be able to feel some gratitude. Gratitude can be a very pleasurable emotion. It helps us to feel bliss, especially in our central channel at the region of our heart. And there's all kinds of cool things we can do with it, and we'll explore that in a future lesson. Now, 
I must, let's not make the mistake of the fundamentals who try to force themselves to feel devotion or who try to force themselves to feel gratitude. That never works. But below the heading or beneath the heading that says gratitude training, you'll notice there are two sets of contemplative questions. The first one reads, what could I feel grateful about? Notice the second word is could with a C, not should with an S, because that's the S word. Should will make you feel bad, will make you feel neurotic, will make you feel guilty, will make you feel crazy. But could is all about possibility. You know, we're not lying to ourselves and saying, this is why I'm awesome. This is why I do feel what I don't feel. No, we're saying, whether or not I feel gratitude in this moment, it's a possibility that I could feel gratitude. What are some of the reasons I could feel gratitude? And when you feed that assumptive, rhetorical, well-worded question to your subconscious, the gears begin turning. Now, you may feel something or not, but that's beside the point. Because with this reading meditation, with these rhetorical contemplative questions, it is not our job to answer the questions, no, no, no. It is our job to ask the questions silently, mentally, during the in-breath, and then during the verbal recitation of the six-syllable mantra, to relax. How simple is that? Ask and relax. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So grab your mala. Now on that same page where you got the three free stuff, you'll want to order your mala. Now I got to tell you, I don't, I don't make any money from the mala. The link for the mala goes straight to um, the supplier. I'm not an affiliate. I'm just hooking you up with, with either a small mala or a big mala for small fingers or big fingers that are simply the best made and the least expensive ones available in the 111 Pontric Bead Paradigm. So, I'm going to assume that this is not your first time to the rodeo and you've been through all the videos of all the lessons and you've already ordered your mala. So what you want to do is count your mala using your middle finger that helps get the energy circulating at the heart. So on the in-breath we ask, what could I feel grateful about? On the out-breath you're going to recite or whisper, by the fourth lesson, this should fall trippingly off the tongue. If it doesn't, go back a few lessons. Now we come to the second question. It's not really a question, it's just an intention. Thank you, my kind the teacher. What's so kind about your teacher? Number one, he's given you teachings. Number two, his teachings work. That'll do it. Thank you, my kind teacher. That is plenty for today. I look forward to working with you during the next lesson. Now, before you go, I want to remind you, number one, to click the subscribe button, number two, to click the like button, number three, to click the share button. After this video, all the way over, oopsie, all the way over there, you'll notice a great big YouTube button. When you click that, it'll take you to your home page. On the left side of the page, all the way down, you may have to scroll, you'll find a tab that reads Manage Subscriptions. Click that, and then look up Lama Jigme. That's me. And there'll be a little box. You use your mouse to put a check in that box. That way, the next time I 
upload a video, you'll get an email notification. Now, remember those, um, those links I told you about below the video? Let's see, there you go, below the video. You could use one of those links to help keep this monk fed, which is lovely, but not mandatory. And number two, there's also a link that you could use to register for the next series of live weekly webinars. When do they begin? Tuesday, the 2nd of July. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.